Aloha, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. On behalf of the Matsunaga family, I want to say how grateful we are that you have chosen to focus on such an important aspect of our world and society, and that's peace. As one of my favorite former presidents once said, the terms of peace may be negotiated by political leaders, but the fate of peace is really up to each and every one of us. And in order to achieve an everlasting and just peace, it has to be based on the inherent rights and dignity of every single individual. And that's how we can have a lasting peace. So again, on behalf of the Matsunaga family, congratulations. Go out there and be great peacemakers and not conflict makers. Aloha.
2021 Matsunaga graduates, I'm Colin Moore, the director of the Public Policy Center, and I just want to congratulate you on this tremendous achievement and wish you all the best on this next stage in your life. Schiffner, and I am the Director of Interdisciplinary Studies. On behalf of the Interdisciplinary Studies program, I'd like to extend our congratulations to all of you for being a part of the 2021 graduating class at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. You have truly accomplished something amazing, and it is an honor to be able to witness you at this moment in your life. I would also like to extend our gratitude for your choosing to study peace and conflict resolution at a time when our world needs it more than ever. We see you as the hope for all of our futures as you go out into the world, bringing important perspectives on peace and conflict studies. We would also like to extend a personal congratulations to Cindy Ng and Anna Chua for completing your bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies with a focus on peace and conflict resolution. Congratulations to all of you. You did it. And we wish you all of the best in what will surely be very bright futures. Mahalo. Congratulations, Matsunai Institute students, on achieving this amazing milestone. I wish you all the best as you move forward into your lives and definitely uh, know that we will always be here, not only to cheer you on, but to be a voice if you need to talk or just to catch up. Look forward to staying in touch and having you as our larger Matsunai Institute community. Congratulations again. My name is Stephanie Song, the Peace Corps representative for UH Manoa, and I just wanted to say congratulations on all of your hard work, not just today as you walk away with a new credential or a new certificate, but for all of your hard work every day, bringing more peace to this world, um, to your communities, and to your relationships. We definitely need more people like you all to lead the world in whatever sector you're passionate about, whether that's health, environment, education, etc. Um, and I just can't wait to see how that piece manifests itself in your future projects and your endeavors and your relationships. Congratulations from us here at the Peace Corps. My name is Brian Hallett, and I'm the Interim Director of the Matsunaga Institute for Peace. On behalf of all of us here at the Institute, I would like to welcome you to our virtual celebration and to congratulate all of our graduates on their success. I also hope that you are sheltering in place and staying safe. Usually at these annual celebrations, we do not keep social distancing. Rather, we hug we give lay, we nibble on carrots and cookies, and we drink punch. This spring, however, is of course very different. But we still wanted to celebrate all of your accomplishments and to send you off on your future endeavors with great joy and our very best wishes. As peace scholars and conflict resolvers, you are graduating into a new world facing ever greater need for the peacemaking and conflict resolving knowledge and skills that you have acquired over the past semesters. 
never more has the world had a need for you and your skills. To overcome the present crisis and move forward to a better world, a better world of justice and peace. So all of us here at the Institute for Peace and all the graduates who came before you, celebrate your hard work, congratulate you on your successes, and wish all the best for you in your future endeavors. Thank you very much and stay well. to all of you soon to be graduates. Uh, your commitment to any of the academic programs at the Matsunaga Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution says a lot about you in many ways, and that gives us all hope for the future. The theories, the philosophies, the skills in peacemaking and problem solving that you've learned give you an empathetic, open-minded, and even a solutions-oriented perspective. And so keep that perspective sharply in focus as you approach whatever work or field that you've chosen you really can make a difference in the world. I wanna give a quick shout out to Kaui Chung Matsukawa, who I've had the privilege to work and get to work with and get to know. And um, I wanna thank you, Kaui, for everything that you are already doing. Um, I wanna leave you all with one of my very favorite quotes. And I think it's attributed most often to Winston Churchill. And that is, never let a good crisis go to waste. Uh, Short-term crises can create opportunities for long-term solutions and uh, you are all ready for it. Aloha, I'm Joy Lacanianta. I'm very proud to be part of the Matsunaga Institute for Peace and also the Peace and Conflict Education Program at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Our department offers interdisciplinary and holistic approach to peace studies. And we truly believe in encouraging student engagement with social issues and community services organizations. For example, in the courses that I teach, we emphasize community service learning through ethnographic methodology in student-led research projects. Everyone can tell you that that's not an easy feat to accomplish. So for those who are graduating, great job on the ISBA in Peace and Conflict Resolution, the Graduate Certificate in Conflict Resolution or GCCR. And I especially want to congratulate my students who are receiving their undergraduate certificate in Peace Studies or UCPS. I'm especially going to embarrass my students like Anne Malua Wadu, who graduated last December, Lahela Ann Kaulukukui, Jiat Chi or Jackie Lee, Abby McAuliffe, and of course Dasha Figueroa, who's completing her UCPS, and the Peace Corps Prep Certificate. To all of you, I know that you will be able to bridge the gap between your professional endeavors, academia, and address the issues that really affect our community. So, ho'o mai ka'i ana, mahalo ni Aloha. Congratulations to everyone. I am so proud of all the hard work and the perseverance that you have put into accomplishments, especially during these trying and challenging times. Now, as you go out into the world, there's one thing I'd like you to remember, and that is how wonderful you really are. Of the seven point Point eight billion people in this world, there is no one like you. You bring a unique element to the world. And so you have something to offer the world. And so please re realize the uniqueness and the gifts and talents that you're bringing into to our world. So I thank you for all that you are doing and that you will be doing into this world. So best wishes to you and aloha.
Executive Director of Seeds of Peace. I just wanted to send a heartfelt congratulations to all of the Matsunaga Institute graduates this year. Um, you know, in addition to dealing with your academics in 2020, you also had to deal with a pandemic and all the consequences that came with it. So just big props to you folks for taking on so much um, and at the same time just committing yourselves uh, as peace builders um, in your homes and in your, in your communities and in your neighborhoods and, and beyond. Um, so thank you folks for doing that, that work. Um, I'd like to send a special shout out to the Seeds of Peace interns and volunteers and program participants um, who joined our family in the past couple of years. Um, that includes Kau'i, Lahela Ann, Candice, um, Ari, Mandolin, and Anne. Um, so thank you folks so much for being part of the Seeds family. Um, you have been and you always will be, so just know that. I'm um, just really grateful for you all. Um, thank you for all the work you've done, and thank you for all the work you will do for our community moving forward. Um, so again, congratulations, and I hope to work with you all very soon. Graduates, congratulations. You have persevered through a very difficult time, but you succeeded. So please stay involved and stay in touch. So we hope to hear from you soon. Aloha. Congratulations, graduate, for achieving one of the greatest milestones in your academic career. You are now starting a new and exciting chapter in your life, and there are many opportunities that are waiting to be discovered. Remember, this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Congratulations. to all of you who have completed a BA in Peace and Conflict uh, Resolution and Undergraduate Certificate and to the Peace Corporation Certificate and the Graduate Certificate on Conflict Resolution. We're proud of you all and uh, we appreciate your effort and your success. In spite of the pandemic, you've managed to complete all these studies and we congratulate you. By now, you have your own conception of what peace means, and at least some ideas of what it means to promote peace. Peace is not just a condition of the ab for the absence of conflict, because peace is not usually automatic. We have to create it. We have to practice activities that promote peace among friends, families, organizations, and nations. We can help peace in the simplest actions like listening with care, empathy and understanding among friends, families, and fellow workers. Practicing peace can also involve helping communities deal with very difficult and tractable conflicts or to help create treaties among nations. All of this involves the practice of peace. And so as you think about your life course, we hope you will have lots of opportunities to practice peace and to perhaps engage in professional activities of peace development. Again, congratulations and best wishes for what's ahead. Congratulations to all of you finishing up this academic milestone in your peace and conflict resolution journey. Obviously, we'd all like to meet and greet in person. I do miss the lay, the laughter, and of course, the cookies we have in face-to-face -face ceremonies. I was delighted to spend time with a number of you in negotiation class, 
I hope to bump into many of you in the future, or at least hear about you as we all continue our peacemaking path. Over the years, I continue to be inspired and invigorated by what you bring to this work. Again, aloha and carry on. I'm from Germantown, Maryland. My major was psychology and my favorite experience at the Matsunaga Institute was being able to volunteer with local organizations such as Seeds of Peace and being able to physically give back to the community as part of my academic program. Graduates, you're graduating at a time when all of our lives have been upended by the COVID-19 virus. It's a reminder that in life, adverse challenges can suddenly appear and disrupt all of our plans. At times like these, we need to be creative and use our courage to get through. You've done that by staying focused and meeting your goals to graduate. Congratulations and thank you for being an inspiration to all of us with your determination to pursue your dreams. Aloha. Aloha Matsunaga Institute for Peace graduates. Uh, congratulations on completing your degrees and completing your certificates this year and for completing another year of school, especially during this COVID-19 time. Um, we all know it's been very difficult not being able to connect with your teachers or your classmates in person and not being on campus. So we really commend um, your hard work and your determination and resilience um, over this last year and a half. Um, I wanted to send you off with a quote from Amanda Gorman, and it reads, we've learned that quiet isn't always peace. Um, and so I'm going to encourage all of you to use your voice, use your skills, and use your passion uh, to create peaceful and just families, peaceful and just workplaces, um, and peaceful and just communities as you make your next steps forward. Um, peace building can be hard, but it's also very intentional and oftentimes very joyous. Um, so we uh, congratulate you, um, know that we all support you and we're behind you. And if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Congratulations on your upcoming graduation. Now more than ever, we need people like you with your skill sets and your mindsets. So congratulations. A special shout out to Kapa. Kapa, congratulations to your ever increasing and growing list of accomplishments. Good luck to you and good luck to everyone. Congratulations. <laughs> from the Matsunaga Institute. I am busy grading exams and research papers this week, and so far they're all terrific. So I feel very confident in toasting you now. I think that you're all going to do very well, and I'm so pleased that you're completing our programs. I wanna send a special shout out to the students who are completing their graduate certificate in conflict resolution. I'm really enjoying reading your capstone papers and your practicum reports. It's so nice to see that you are taking what you learned in your courses and applying them in a special area or in work in the community. It's really gratifying for those of us who teach in the program. 
And I want to tell you, I'm stepping down and completing my chair term as graduate chair in August. And so I want to send a special thank you to all the members of the curriculum committee for the graduate certificate in conflict resolution. Uh, these members, they come from many different departments. Some of them are retired, but they still put a lot of energy into this program and I've really appreciated it. And I want to thank my colleagues at the Matsunaga Institute who have been so supportive with a special shout out to Dan, who served as graduate chair when I was on sabbatical, to Maya, who's kindly agreed to step in as graduate chair in August, and of course, especially to Jose, who keeps our ship running no matter what. So thank you, everyone, and have a wonderful summer and use those conflict resolution skills in the community. Aloha. Congratulations to all of our 2021 graduates. It's been a strange and trying year, and while it hasn't always been easy or graceful, you all have navigated these times successfully, and that should give you confidence that you'll be able to handle any challenge in the future. Peace and conflict resolution is challenging, but rewarding work, and you are all well prepared to begin or continue your careers as peace builders or conflict resolvers. I've been very lucky over the last two years to have had several of you in my courses and to have worked with you on capstone projects. Kristen, Ben, Shepard, Anue Nui, Kappa, and Lewis, I truly value and appreciate each of you. You've brought unique perspectives and insights to my courses, and I'm very grateful that I've had the chance to work alongside you. Mahalo, and once again, congratulations to you all. This is Michael Fisher uh, coming from social distancing and then Pasar, Indonesia. Um, I just want to send a word of congratulations to everyone. Uh, it's a really exciting time to pass through this milestone. I was a student of the Matsunaga Institute. I graduated from there and as you can see I'm still uh, teaching in the program. Uh, I really really think the values that come through in the program and that I hope that you guys will all take into the future work and leadership roles that you will take on. Uh, we'll continue to uh, create a bigger community that's committed to peace and conflict resolution. Uh, once again, the best to you all and please keep in touch wherever you may end up. Many thanks, take care. <laughs> My name is Katrina Ankapa Oliveira and I am coming to you from my hometown in Waiohuli, Maui. I was born and raised on both the islands of Oahu and Maui on Oahu. I was raised in Aia and my favorite memory, my fondest memory of the graduate certificate in conflict resolution is taking class from Professor Amy Hubbard. I really enjoyed her communicology course and I learned so much in it and I really enjoyed the interaction with the other students. Congratulations everyone! Well, congratulations. It's, I'm sorry I can't be there with you in person, but nobody's doing anything in person right now. So, but that will soon uh, clear, the plague will pass and we'll all be getting together. So congratulations to all of you on uh, working through your curricula and achieving a great moment. And I, I just, I won't keep you long. I just wanna, I, I know some of you and uh, I bless you for taking on this work. I've been involved in a lot of debates, whether this is a field or a profession or whatnot. And it, at the bottom line, it's a calling. It's not for everybody. And we, some of us are called to do this work, and I hope you are too, and you will find ways to apply your skills. Um, there's no shortage of conflicts and disputes out there that we can be working on. It's a question of can we get to them. 
So uh, mainly, I just want to say congratulations and uh, what a wonderful odyssey lies ahead of you. So thanks so much, and I'm glad to have been even a remote part of it. Thank you. Aloha Matsunaga Institute students. Congratulations on your graduation. I am so happy for you. I'm so honored to have been a professor and, and mentor and friend to some of you. My uh, congratulations also extend to those who have supported you in this incredible journey to get here today. Uh, your family, your friends, your faculty, staff, and administration. I know that it has not been an easy road and you've had to sacrifice a lot. You've had to take the stress, sorrow, uncertainty, and fear of this pandemic and transform it into high energy, good work in our community. You've helped us already to reimagine a stronger, healthier, more vibrant, more just, and innovative future. And we are really, really excited, all of us, to see what you do ahead as you move forward um, in a world that continues to need a great deal uh, from you. We hope that you feel our uh, respect and our love uh, behind you and that you regard us as forever family, that you keep in touch. Uh, and we are grateful that this pandemic has not eroded your enthusiasm, but indeed has made you um, ever stronger, ever braver, and you give that to us so that we live uh, today uh, not in a state of grief, um, but in a state of joyous celebration for you, your work in the world, and the people you are. Congratulations. Aloha.